The day we were ready to make My Hurt for Runaway, they told me that I had to be more emotional, more tearful, and more satisfying between brother brothership. And it stars me as the main character, and it seems how I'm not being so excited for my brother coming over to visit. What's up, my family? Cargo! Hi, baby! Hi, mommy! Hi, daddy! Hi, Cargo! How's it going? And then Bruce doesn't get so happy when Cargo comes over to visit him. He doesn't really feel that happy between him. How's my how's my big brother, Bruce? Hi, Cargo. Hi, brother! Come on, brother! Don't just stand there, brother! Give me a hug! Yes, brother, I love you too. Well, then give me a hug, then! Uh, 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 you're choking me! Can you stop choking me? I'm sorry, brother. And then it really gets that point to where Cargo doesn't want to be around Bruce... But he really does because Cargo loves Bruce because Bruce is the one who doesn't want to be around Cargo. So he does so many things. Hey, what's this? Um, can you stop going in my stuff, please? No, no, no. What's all this? <laughs> the day we were ready to make My Hurt for Runaway, we wanted to give the characters this more time to when we filmed the movie. We went in action. We wanted to give that shot to where we really give the actors that time to make them. As we see Bruce fake and beating up Cargo, we just want to make it seem like that we're just trying to put this all together. But between animation and not doing animation, you're just doing it between just with CGI for doing 2D mentions and making it seem like that. It's just really getting that kind of beat up sensitive that we're trying to add together. And that's where the script writers come in at as we put it all together and make it seem add that story to the whole entire thing. I can't believe I killed my own brother. What kind of brother am I? You're a terrible brother. <laughs> am I gonna burn up in age? No! No, you're not gonna do that. And one of the ways we do it is that we had to make it seem how Bruce makes a choice to where he's going to go tell the truth on how we kill Cargo, or he's just going to stay off running. And then it really gets to that point like you that Bruce has realized that he is his brother's keeper. I went to church every Sunday, and every time I went to church, I've been hearing the same thing about how Cain killed his brother Abel. And that's inspired us to make this film. What inspired us to make this film is that I lived a long time ago with my brother, me and him didn't want to go along, and I got so tired of him being around me, so then I grew up one day, and then I ran into him, and I said, I don't want to be around you no more. And that made my brother so upset, I hurt his feelings so much, and then all of a sudden, he started realizing that we're brothers, and we got to stay together. Hey brother, you can't just leave me like this, we're brothers, we got to stay together. And then... Everything just turns out the way that we dreamed of. I got to be around and see my brother again. And I never got to shut him out of my life anymore. And that's how Cargo learned and Bruce learned. How they got to be between, how to be between brother and friendship. I played the mother of this film. I played Gracie, Cargo and Bruce's mother. And as a single mother, I try to get my two boys to stay as close as possible with each other. And as they grow up, they get to have a more longer life when we go. As it all, you know how they say about becoming one mother single and raising two children of their own and making us see how to get two children to fall in love with each other. As we take this into the to the to the filmmakers, we tell them how we're acting, but then they really get the hardware feeling to where they know how what's their purpose and what's their actual tips. So the so the writers give them the actual tips. And then they all get rid of the better. It's crazy how they all get on the same page because you know they must all get that magic spell on them. But then once in a while later, Bruce realizes that his brother and how he killed them, he has to change that. You killed your brother. That was wrong. You gotta love your brother. You know, the mistakes that you do is the mistakes that you gotta learn from. And that's how you realize it, son. And then Cargo really knows how he is. When we go with the being dead, we had to make sure we put him in the graveyard. The graveyard scene was like the hardest thing to do. We had to dig up so much dirt in order to put Cargo in there. That's why we had to take it from the air, man. Like, All right, okay, we're going to round that up. We're going to round it. We're going to take it from the top. Remember, we're going to take it from the top, and then we go. going to sorry. Action. Okay, we got to put him inside this graveyard. Put him inside the graveyard. And then, once in a while later, 
they all start getting that one of the details. Like, they all want to know how we put Barry Ricardo, put him in his own graveyard, and leave him there forever. The best part about making My Hurtful Runaway is that we get to teach kids these days about their siblings and how they must grow up with them instead of killing them. When you have a sibling, you have three responsibilities. One, you must always make sure you're there for them. Two, you must never let danger happen to them. And three, you must stick to them as many possible as they get up older. When you grow up with your sibling, you can never let your sibling go. You must be there with him forever. That includes being around other villains and being around other villains. It's okay for you to go out partying. Just make sure if your sibling needs you, be there. This movie taught us a lot about our childhood life, about how we was supposed to be around my siblings. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have like... I have like three brothers and two sisters, and even I know the difference between how I'm supposed I'm supposed to be around them and make sure. You know, yeah, I'm, my three brothers and my two sisters. Sometimes I get on my nerves a little bit, but I just don't go killing them. I just really work something out with them, and that's how this film teaches kids today as they grow up with their siblings and how they'll never ever, you know, do them like they're doing now. You gotta love your sibling. Don't just walk up and just start beating your sibling up. You must show your sibling you care about it. I mean, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I had so much fun making this film. This film taught me so much about how I'm supposed to be around my siblings, but I really don't have that much siblings. I don't even got no siblings at all. Not that I really know of, <laughs> unless my step. Well, I really don't have my. I really don't have that much. But okay, I'll get to the point. I don't have the siblings, but if I did have a sibling, this movie would teach me so much about how I'm supposed to love my sibling instead of just going up and killing my sibling. You're supposed to just sit there for it. That includes not just walking up and just not saying hi, just walking up and giving them a big hug. Aww. Now that right there is brothership. It teaches you so much when you see this film. And I'm pretty sure when parents go to take their kids to see this film, or if they wait till the film comes out on DVD and they watch it with their kids, it's going to teach the kids how to not hurt their own siblings. It's going to change the kids' lives over, and then they're not going to want to do it anymore. So, do, 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 do,